Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on this Monday after the Thanksgiving holiday. 28th of November. Getting towards month end. Dollar higher. Um, for the most part, except for dollar yen. Um, on the open here. Cable popped down through. 120.58. Oh, back. Now we're back at 72. Euros down at 81. Um, close around the figure. Let's have a quick look. We're risk off here. Start with stocks. Um, four hours sees a gap open here. So close at 40.34. Open at 40.22. Down to 4,000. Uh, crude also got spanked. Another gap open. 76.55 down to 75.70. Open at 75.70. Traded all the way down. 73.76. Um, 73.82, it says here. Bouncing around at the lows here. Um, I guess China news is driving oil lower. Uh, possible uh, allowing of Russian oil to come back online at a certain price is pushing oil lower. I don't think we're going to live down here much. I'm a buyer of oil. Um, I'm not sure where today. I think probably uh, this could get a little hysterical here, so you got to be careful. We'll look, kind of look for a turn bar. Nothing, nothing available now. We're just bouncing at the bottom. We're going to, we're surely going to make new lows from here um, at some point today. But uh, this is now getting extended. Um, we're not as bearish as the world is on oil. Let's just put it that way. Ten year. On Friday we talked about like we needed this thing above three seven uh, three seventy five. Um, three sixty three point seven is not above three seventy five. Um, this is bearish. This is a wide dollar yen. I think got schmutched. Um, you know, we're on the knee. We're on our knees here at the lows. Where's the real stretch point? 350 today. We're a ways from that. Um, 357 with the lows in at the beginning of October. That's pretty weak, right? We got a big week of speakers. We got Powell. We got Lagarde. We got a couple a couple Fed guys tonight, actually. We're going to be babbling away. Non-farms at the end of the week. Um, we got CPI on Thursday. Powell Wednesday. GDP on Wednesday. We got CAD GDP on Tuesday. CAD unemployment on Friday. We got a big week of releases. It's going to be a volatile, volatile week. So buckle up. Put your big boy pants on. Um consider this a pretty quiet open uh, but it's going to be a wild week so get your strategies in order and set and your strategies set up in your head and then just try and follow through with them uh, anyway let's look at what we're thinking here Aussie gap down I'm not sure we're going to fill that gap uh, although at some point we probably will um, no real trade in Aussie here I'm very surprised at uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, bless me. Um, CAD is reflective of this oil trade. It went up to thirty-four seventy-three. Euro CAD is is too high. Um, although now we've broken above these highs, you want to maybe sell this stuff up at one forty. Um, we like fading Euro CAD in general. But there's a lot of releases in, in Canada this week. So just be cognizant of what's going on. Mm -hmm. The dollar cad uh, higher. Will we touch 135.02 again? Make for a little pivot going into the end of the week? Yeah, probably. Um, but there's no trade here at uh, 134.41. We're basically in the middle of the day's range. 
Euro. Uh, we're waiting on Lagar. Uh, see what she says. If she gets a little dovey dovey. Um, I'm not sure where this is going to go because the U.S. is a little dovey dovey. It's really more about what Powell says. If Powell uh, gets crazy, crazy dove dove, um, this will pop. And if Powell gets hawkish, this will go lower. Sterling, we like this lower now. We tried to pick a top last week. We got <laughs> we got zinged on uh, Thursday. Um, you know, it was a scratch, but we got zinged. We like this lower um, gap open today, so 86 was the close. We'll probably close this gap uh, next minute or so. Maybe that's the fade here. Maybe maybe fade the gap close. Um, we like sterling lower just because it looks like there's going to be a cacophony of bad news. And sterling is the run to the bunch. And so this is... Um, when it's risk off and a bit spooky, uh, this is our horse. Technically, Euro Sterling, um, this is a very important point here. 85.72. And if 85.72 goes, obviously cable has to go a lot higher. So that's, you know, if you just want to trade technically and you don't want to talk stories and you don't want to talk macro, um, this is a very, very interesting technical level, 85.72. You do run into um, sort of longer term support at 8506, but that's a percent away, right? You can, you might be able to harvest 70 points um, through this 8572. I expect if we get down there, there's going to be um, plenty of action, plenty of plenty of the big boys uh, will be around for that. So if you want to just play the technical game pure pure keep an eye on that uh, that level dollar yen bang this is reflective of uh, US rates 137.80 been low here we are 137.90 This doesn't really get extended till 134.50, so don't you know fading this is, is can be deadly. Um, don't not super interested in trading this here uh, or fading this or buying it or selling it or just watching. Uh, you're late to the party now, and if you're just looking at dollar yen for the first time, kind of like I am, and you're like, what the fuck? Um, that means you weren't up at midnight last night for the open and just stay away from it right like it shocked you leave it dollar swiss in this sort of risk off type scenario we like dollar swiss we talked about buying it um friday down at 40 went all the way up to 95 hopefully you harvested some gains up there or at least your average now is it is below 93.50 if you're still long um, this is just going to be low vol because it's tug of war. Like the Swiss side of this is going to be, um, the Swiss side of this is going to be bid because risk off. The dollar side of this is going to be a little bit bid because of risk off. And so it's kind of a tug of war here. But overall, um, if you want to buy dollars in the face of this lower rates, this one is your horse, uh, dollar Swiss. Cad Swiss, 70 cents, will be around, just like Euro Cad at 140, will be around. Kiwi gapped, bang. Whew, slippery little, slippery little slut. Um, man, that looks like a turn, right? Right up there at the 200 day. We are not on this. We don't have this on, but man, short kiwi looks all right. Uh, and this, the Aussie and the kiwi is basically like worries about China and COVID. You see Aussie yen, boom. Wow. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Um, this is now very extended. Um, again, this is like 
I'm afraid of COVID and what's going to happen, potentially happen in China. Uh, I am personally not afraid of that. I think it's totally overdone. I think um, remains to be seen. I think we can fight COVID. I think we have vaccines. Uh, so I'm not crazy worried about a new bout of COVID in China. But the market certainly is. This is why oil's down. Uh, among other reasons, and this is why Aussie and Kiwi um, got smoked. Euro yen smoked to a lesser extent, just because this is just dollar yen lower. You can see Euro yen and dollar yen both down, sort of ninety point nine. Uh, that means Euro dollar hasn't moved basically, and, and dollar yen's carried the day. Sterling yen also marginally lower. Cables back up at one twenty seventy five. Here, keep keep it. Keep a close eye on that if you're going to fade this at the um, at the retrace. Um, Czar, of course, they're going to smack that pony um, just because we're risk off. Euro Aussie is reflective of the Aussie move, but it's going nowhere. Swiss yen. Um, these are interesting. These um, two and a half, three sigma from a moving average on these low vol currencies. The problem with Swiss yen here is dollar yen could do something hysterical. And so when dollar yen does something hysterical, these these kind of uh, standard deviation moves don't work as well. Like this is the perfect example. When dollar yen, this is dollar yen going through the roof. Now, if you're trading a standard deviation on this, you just got carried out the door, put on a stretcher, castrated, and thrown into the fire pit. Um, so you got to be careful here. You can see vol has been constricted, which is never good when you're trading a standard deviation. Uh, so be careful. Uh, I would say avoid that as a signal. Euro Norway is not doing anything. Um, should be higher with oil on its knees. Dollar Norway also should be should be higher, but this is just pushing and pulling here. CAD yen. This is the 200 day here. Um, if you believe oil is going to bounce and you believe this is all bullshit, uh, CAD yen's your horse. If you believe we're going to put on a big double bottom, that's 101, sort of 50. Um, CAD yen looks a little stretchy, stretchy there. Uh, but again, a big week in front of us, so much going on, uh, including in, on the CAD side, right? We've got, um... CAD GDP tomorrow, Tuesday. We got CAD employment on Friday. So just be aware um, there are risks lurking. Let's go to gold. It's really not doing much. Got down to 19. We were talking about buying it at 1730. Uh, we didn't buy anything. We're not trading gold at all. We never trade gold. Um, we don't never trade gold. We, we, we haven't traded gold in a while. So we're just kind of watching. These are gold futures. Not much to say here, middle of the range. Crypto, if you care, is just getting its ass kicked. Solana on its knees. Uh, Ethereum, six dicks in its mouth. Um, not great. Crypto space, our buddy D DYDX. Holy Christ, just sodomy. Nice work, crypto. Anyway, that's all I got today. Uh, we're going to be fading cable today uh, as our main sort of motive. We do have some dollar Swiss longs on at a decent average, and we are watching some of these technical levels. Uh, 85.72 um, in Euro Sterling. And obviously, if we're down near there, we will not be short cable. We will cut our cable shorts. But right now, we're up at 86 the figure in Euro Sterling. And voila. Good luck out there, boys, girls, and any of you non-gender people who aren't boys or girls. Wish you the best of luck as well. Ciao.